And I'm live, Kathy. Hello, hello, and a good morning to everybody that's going to see this. I hope that you're having an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. I know that it is Thanksgiving here, and uh, that's a day that we celebrate uh, everything we're thankful for. So I'm going to start just a minute early because I have got things to do. But anyway, hello, hello, and a good day to you. I hope that you're on passive days going you know, at least half as good as mine is, because you know what, if it is, then you're going to be absolutely set, right? Um, this is going to be quick this morning, probably 10 minutes or under, but there's a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes. As we know, many of us have seen the maintenance message uh, that's on the uh, the website. Uh, this uh, is to facilitate the transition from old founders into the on passive ecosystem, right? We want it to be seamless, make sure everybody comes into the structure at the right place. Now, before long, depending on the region, I mean, my site just went up this morning. Uh, when we log into O Founders, there's going to be a pop up that will take you to a registration page, right? It's going to be pre populated with the information from your O Founders account, and it's going to uh, display your new O mail address and provide a spot for your new password and a spot to confirm that password. Um, it's also going to ask for an alternate email address, uh, which is going to be used for a two-factor authorization or authentication, perhaps. Um, that's an address that O Founders will send an email to that will contain a uh, an OTP, a one-time password, remember the six-digit code, to verify that access. And there's also a field uh, on the registration form to list your country and uh, to list your phone number. Now, there's some things you want to remember, right? I do not believe, first of all, that um, that registration will allow you to change the old mail name that it gives you there. Okay. Secondarily, passwords have specific criteria. Um, for example, they've got to be between eight and 18 characters. Uh, you've got to have some wild cards, a capital letter, a low case letter, you know, things like that. So, um, that will show up underneath the password field. So just make sure that you get that right and make sure the second one uh, is uh, identical to, you know, the, the one that you confirm it is identical. Otherwise, it won't let you go any further. Um, now, once you actually provide an alternate email address, you're going to need to click the verify button, which is going to be off to the right hand side of that space. Otherwise, you're going to be clicking register and it's not going to do anything. And this is just my thought. I would not use the same password for every account. And I don't think it would allow you to use the same alternate email for each account either. Uh, but if it does, I wouldn't do it. I would use separate email accounts for each of your uh, OMAIL accounts uh, for, for verification anyway. So anyway, once you click the verify uh, button, um, it's going to give you notification that an email was sent with a code to that address. And once you put that code in the space provided, just like, you know, it used to work with the old founders, uh, which is down near the bottom of the page, it's going to give you access. It's going to allow you to enter the, uh, uh, on passive ecosystem. And you do that by clicking the, the register to OMAIL down at the bottom, um, of, of the page of the form. Now, from the dashboard, you can click and you can play with the features and you can you can go in and have a lot of fun. At the top right hand side, there is a tour button, right, that you can click and take a tour. It'll, it'll go block by block, explain what everything is, all the fields are. There's also a very useful downloadable PDF manual for the site. I would encourage you to download that and read it. You're going to see uh, a new area in there that Mr. Bufaro was talking about, my users. Right. Um, when you click that, it may contain nobody. Uh, there may be some new registrations in there or there may be registrations from other founders in there. Either way, don't sweat the load. It's going to populate, uh, you know, before uh, long and it'll all be correct and, and life is good for us. Also, now this is what I did when registering, log into the old founders uh, to your account and then take a screenshot of the profile page. That's once you've already created the OMAIL for that, okay? Because in that new profile, you're going to see a field showing that it's linked to your new OMAIL. Take a copy of that screenshot. Then 
Once you log out of that, log back into that old mail and then do the same thing. Go up on the right hand side, click profile, drop down, open the profile, take a screenshot of that op uh, the profile for your old mail account and do this for every old mail account that you have. Keep them in a safe, safe place is just a good thing to do. Now, please keep in mind also in opening to the public, this is a work in progress, folks, okay? The tech teams, wow, let me tell you something. They have been, mm, I mean, man, really, really working. They're continuing to work in the back office and they're migrating all sorts of programs, applications, and software. Please remember, it is not a simple thing to tie a complete digital ecosystem to 1.4 million users across more than 200 countries, right? There's going to be glitches, challenges. These things are normal. And as we integrate applications and expand out to the cloud, right, go live on the Internet, things like that, some of these challenges will be unique. Others are going to be expected, some of them probably routine or even mundane. But regardless, there will be times where the system will be slow or it may be down. Please have patience as all of this is to be expected. And it's a natural part of the progress that we're showing um, with our public launch. Now, once we have the founders all moved over to Omail accordingly, then we'll start moving new traffic to the founders from the marketing campaigns and we'll be off to the races. Um, we're currently debugging a lot of these things now, so we don't have to do it later. And that's a lot of the stuff going on behind the scenes. Now, these teams, as I've said, have been extremely busy and they're very, very diligent and they've been working some long hours. So just be thankful. OK, be patient with them, uh, appreciate them, speak good about them. Go into the back office, you know, into ONET and, and just kind of say, hey, we appreciate you guys. We know you're working hard for us, all right? They've got a schedule and they're excited about rolling out this new ecosystem for us. So please do not stress over it, okay? Remember, we don't need to register a new account, which is to say don't go register if you're a founder from onpassive.com. Instead, just create a new email uh, with Omail from within O Founders when the system allows it. There will be a pop up that says to do it, and you click proceed, and, and it'll open up that new registration. Now, once you do that, log out completely from the account, close the session entirely by clicking the profile up in the right hand side, and from the drop down, click log out from the drop down menu. Then you start a new session, right? Go into another account if you've got one. If not, that's fine. And then repeat the new email process. Once the system is ready, the under maintenance uh, page is going to be removed and we'll be able to resume registration. So just keep checking. Mine has popped back up. It's been down for like 36 hours or 24 hours. It popped back up and it's all according to region. So if you're in a region where it's live, go get it, man. Uh, hallelujah, right? Now, today in America, it's been set aside as a day that we give thanks. So please, in this, please let's include on passive among the many things that we have such a wonderful, was wonderful reason to be thankful for. Remembering that we are all in it to win it. We're going to win bigger together. And I send many, many blessings to each and every one of you for today. I thank you so much for seeing this, for listening to it. And I hope that you have an awesome, outstanding on passive day because you know what? It's only going to get better. And we're about to be in the best shape of our lives. Thank you so very much. And I'm going to do just a few here at the top. I see. Uh, hi, Albert and Rupesh, Lori and Tentash. Melanie, oh, good to see you here again, too. See all of you folks here. I'm kind of just going to see if there's any kind of questions and what have you. Um, wow, Namala and Vulcan and, yep, bunch of you, bunch of you. I, I don't see any questions in here, so I wanted to keep this short. Thank you very, very much for uh, just, you know, for commenting and for supporting us and encouraging what we're doing. We certainly appreciate that. Thank you, Mr. Mufara and the tech team. We appreciate everything that you guys are doing. And I wish a happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you. May blessings abound in your life and may your heart explode with joy today. Thanks. Bye.